Hi and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at copying a formula from above using the keyboard shortcut control apostrophe. So with that, let's get started. If we were in Excel and we had an example here where we have maybe a quantity sold for something like books, we have a selling price and revenue, we could hard code all of this data but we've, what we've actually done is we've input some hard values or some specific static values like 250 and then we've used a formula for relative references all referring to this cell. I guess those are technically absolute references and then formulas referring to these cells. So this end of your value is a summation, the sum of these four values. So if we click here, we can see that it is indeed a sum of these four values. Now, if we were to want to copy this specific value, we could do this by using copy and then some form of paste, which we'll discuss in a minute. But there's a specific keyboard shortcut that would allow us to copy the formula, that of sum of D3 through D6, by just pressing the control key and the apostrophe key. The control key apostrophe keyboard shortcut will bring up this value where Excel guesses what you want it to copy. You hit enter and it would then be that specific value. An alternative way to copy a value from above. So let's look at this example. These are all hard coded until we get here. This is the sum of these individual values. If we wanted to copy this and we did not remember the keyboard shortcut of control apostrophe, we could copy this by hitting control C and then come up here go to paste, paste special, and then we could go to formulas. Pasting formulas would bring that value down, but the issue is that these are relative references. So it's actually going to sum cells B4 through B7 rather than, rather than that original range of B3 through B6. So you could copy the value and then you could tweak it a little bit. So you could say, come down here and go change it to B3 to B6. And you have the same value, but it might be faster to just hit the control key and the apostrophe key and then enter. So again, in this video, we looked at the idea of using the control key and the apostrophe key. If and when we did this, we could input the specific formula, that of sum D3 through D6, or if we were over here, we could press that and get that same formula. We could achieve a similar result by copying this, pasting the, the formulas, but then we might have to come in and adjust those specific formulas. So there are upsides and, and downsides, advantages and disadvantages to using either approach but I find that using the keyboard shortcut control apostrophe can save a significant amount of time when doing certain actions in Excel. With that, in the next video, we'll look at the idea of just copying the values from the cell above by using control shift apostrophe. So check that out in our next video. Thanks for watching.